What's up guys, it's Morgan from Racer X Performance Tuning once again, and today I had the honor of tuning my good friend Dennis's VG Blue 1992 Dodge Stealth Twin Turbo, better known as the Blue Devil. This car has run the 10 second quarter mile, and recently Dennis moved from AEM over to a Haltech Elite 2500 unit. Looking at the build list, we've got Ray Pampina's Ross Pistons, Brian Crower Rods, an Eclipse Forge Crank, BC Cams, Retainers, and Springs. Then we've got twin Arashi 20THL turbos, dual 455 fuel pumps, injector dynamics 1700 injectors, revenge performance coil on plug system, and a Clutchmaster 8.5 twin disc. Dino days always seem to come with some sort of curveball, and we found one challenge that uh, crept up on us pretty early on. Um, our problem was that our Mac valve was not working at all. It didn't matter how much duty cycle we sent at it, it was just not clicking. And when we tested it later on, we found out that it was pretty much dead. So we had to run today just on wastegate pressure. Uh, the good news is that our wastegate was a 20 pound spring, so at least that gave us something to start with. started off as per usual with wide open throttle fuel and since this was a two fuel day so we we're doing pump 93 and also E85 the nice thing is that with Haltech being a VE based system we pretty much just had to do fuel one time and then just let the uh, the Haltech flex fuel system kind of run the numbers for us and give us the types of values that we needed based on the ethanol content that was in the tank. Doing the wide open throttle pulls with uh, no timing and uh, obviously wastegate spring pressure uh, set us up nicely to determine our knock thresholds and put all that data into Haltech so that when we started running with boost or when we started adding timing, we would have a knock floor to work with. running our AFRs as lean as we safely could, and then turning our attention and maximizing our MBT advanced timing, we were able to end the day at 555 horsepower and 475 foot-pounds of torque. Given that that was only on about 20 PSI of uh, boost pressure, it was a really good day. And considering if we ran the 35 that we had planned to, this car easily sits in the 600s to 700 horsepower. Hey guys, so we're once again back at Counter Steer today. Blessed to be able to tune Dennis's Blue Devil. Many of you are aware of Dennis Beck. He's one of the most respected people in our 3000 GT community. And he rode all the way down here to visit us in Georgia. So we're glad to have him here at Haltech. Hey Dennis, how do you think about the experience today? Uh, it's been a good experience. Uh, walked me through everything we needed to do. We run into a little boost solenoid issue, but we're on a wastegate boost. And I get to drive tomorrow with these guys from Georgia. Yeah, we're going to go up on the mountains and have some fun. You know, just looking at dyno chart, Bill, uh, Dennis was right. You know, we ran through a you know, duty cycle issue. with just our 3 port boost all night. It's not playing nice with us. So pretty much ran off the wastegate pressure all day, about 20 PSI. We ran, ran the timing up and worked on AFRs to try to get ourselves to a nice spot. It's pretty much we just maxed out the MBT. So we ended up at a high of 555.83 on the horsepower and 475 on torque, which is not bad at all for just running about 20 PSI. So that's going to be a wrap for today. I'm going to see you guys soon next time I'm over here at Counter Steer and I wish everybody a great day. <laughs>